Women are also overwhelmingly reporting adverse side effects after getting vaccinated, and that is according to a new CDC study. But Tyler Paley reports why that shouldn't make you hesitant to get the shot. Last week, 30-year-old Sarah Harabidian of Oregon was excited for her turn to roll up her sleeve. <laughs> what came next, however, wasn't so exciting. Almost 24 hours later, started having more nausea, started getting minor body aches, a slight headache, and went home, laid on the couch. That night, the body aches got really intense. My arm was really sore to the point I couldn't lift it. Herabidian is among a group of people who reported adverse side effects after getting vaccinated. A CDC report found an overwhelming majority of these folks, about 79% in fact, are women. We know that in women, their immune systems are different. And it's that difference in the immunity of men and women that probably explains why women have a slightly different response to receiving a vaccine. ProMedica Dr. Brian Kaminsky says there's still plenty more to learn about the vaccines, but he says you can rest assured they're safe and they're working. It's common to have a low grade fever, muscle aches, body aches, fatigue, and those signs and symptoms that we see when your immune system responds to receiving the vaccine. Back with Herabidian, who fought COVID a few months ago, she says she won't hesitate to get her second dose and hopes others follow suit. It was so many compared to what I had with COVID and COVID lasted the whole 14 days. So, you know, a couple hours of, you know, chills and body aches was nothing compared to COVID. Reporting, Tyler Paley, WTOL 11. Well, that CDC report found the most common symptoms for people who get either the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine tends to be headaches and fatigue.